Hey, what is up guys? So we got some new support announced for the new Red Eyes and I've already got to test it and see how it kind of plays. It's pretty interesting. I do really love the effect of just special summoning Ray's Darkest Metal Dragon from the deck and then you can actually re-bring back the Ritual or you can bring back that Black Dragon Archfiend which is absolutely crazy. I love that card so much. Like the burn damage, you can't activate anything until the end advantage step and it's got some, some massive attack. But anyways, I'm going to be playing against Yang Zing. It's kind of cool to see this deck still see some play because I think the deck is good, just no one really wants to play it because it's not as good as you know other things and that's basically why. But he's going for Boxia. That's a pretty nasty card. Boxia and then he's got the uh, Mass Second Change. He's got crazy tech. I don't really know what he brings out. Maybe probably Dark Law. Everything brings out Dark Law. Ended up making a 101 and then we're able to bring the Knight of Dark Dragon. And I love this card so much because um, if it attacks anything in defense, it just gets to destroy it. You don't use that effect too much. It's mostly just to uh, tribute the card and actually just bring out a red is uh, Darkest Metal Dragon. So that's the basic uh, principle of the deck. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the, uh, the new support because I kind of want to show you guys what it could do in addition to a quick little... Um, or uh, just explanation of what everything does in the archetype because I think it's kind of cool. Um, first off, let's go ahead and go over the deck real quick and the, some of the new cards that came out and then we'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about them. All right, so here is a deck profile I was messing around with. I don't recommend you guys to use this build. It's more so I just wanted a bunch of draw power and I wanted to make this deck OTK oriented because um, as you guys can see, it's pretty fast. I was doing that pretty much all day unless I had brick hands, which can happen in every deck when you run you know nine hand traps. But I just wanted to be able to be as aggressive as possible. Don't take this as a deck profile uh, right now. I'm still kind of working on the deck. Like I said, I'm just trying to test out the new stuff. So uh, what I really like with the deck is... Um, the fact that you can go Manju straight into this because it's a level 4. So you can go Manju, search whichever one you don't have, and then from there you just use Manju as material. And then this card over here, the Knight of Dark Dragon. So you can ritual summon this card with uh, Dark Dragon Ritual. At the, uh, at the start of a damage step, if this card attacks a defense monster, you get to destroy that monster. So I kind of like that against certain decks that maybe sit on defense mode or whatever. I mean, I guess maybe like the super heavyweight samurais. Not that they're like super meta, but it's kind of fun just to have an additional effect. It's better than nothing. Anyways, the main effect that you're going to be using uh, this card for is you contribute this card to special summon one Red Ice monster from your hand or deck, except for Red Ice Beat Chick. You can only use the effect of him once per turn. That's pretty good. Um, that's already a good enough effect. But what really makes this deck good is this card over here, Dark Dragon Ritual. So you go ahead and use it to bring out this card, um, unless there's more stuff for it later. But uh, anyways, the main effect that we're going to use this for is during your main phase, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard to add one Red Eyes spell slash trap card from your deck to your hand. So what that usually means is, okay, so I go ahead, I summon Manju, uh, and if I happen to have, you know, a high level monster I can get rid of and I can bring it back with Red Eyes Darkest Metal Dragon's effect, um, that allows me to play very aggressive. Like turn one, it's very common to have a Red Eyes plus, you know, another Red Eyes. So you'd have Darkest Metal plus another Red Eyes or, you know, whatever else you have. Or you can even just bring this back because it's 19. So usually what happens in this deck, and that's kind of the way I oriented it, was to just bring out first turn Red Eyes Darkest Metal Dragon, which is a relatively strong play. Then you can go ahead and have Red Eyes Darkest Metal Dragon's effect. You need to bring back this card. And then, because this card has this effect, uh, where you can banish it to add any Red Eyes um, spell, uh, spell or trap card from your uh, deck to your hand. Now, if this card dies, then you usually can go for this. You can go for whatever you really need to go for. Uh, generally, I go ahead and bring out this card with this effect. I go ahead and activate this card. I bring out the, uh, oh, I think, did this change to Black Skull? Oh, well, anyways, you bring out the Black Dragon Archfiend. So from here, this is pretty much game, um, especially if you Yuki usagi or effect failure them, or you max see them, so they just go ahead and stop. Now, a lot of decks right now, they don't have that much back row because there's so many pendulum-based decks that need like one turn of setup, because I've seen a lot of those, uh, the creation mages, and basically that deck, they set up really hard turn one, and the next turn they're gonna go ahead and pendulum summon, and they usually win. Uh, you gotta watch out for that deck, but like I said, if they open up uh, with the ability to uh, play very aggressive, it's usually on the second turn. They usually don't have it like immediately. They usually need to go for odd to search out that like last card they need for their OTK. But um, anyways, like I said, uh, with the effect failures and maxis and UQ so you, if you can just get rid of like one monster and their board is clean, even if their board isn't clean because this has 28, this has 19, this has uh, 32, they can't do anything until the end of damage step. And I've seen some of them play like uh, Supply Squad. There's a lot of different decks that try Supply Squad. Um, I think that that card just might be too slow for the game. But um, 
Anyways, this card, not only does it deal 3200 damage, or I guess technically lower if they happen to have a monster, I like that effect of just burning your opponent for another 24, which is the effect that you usually get. So you're going to have this effect where he attacks for 32, he's going to burn them for 24, you got 28 and you got 19 on board, and that's not counting if you're drawing any extra cards. So that's basically what I wanted to orient the deck to do. So now we got that out of the way, uh, like I said, it's not a deck profile, I just want to talk about the new cards, because this deck probably needs some work. Uh, anyways, uh, another card that is actually new is called Red Eyes Tracer Dragon. So if a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster you control, except for Red Eyes, um, Bee Chick. Uh, that's like, except for Frog the Jam, right? Because Red Eyes Bee Chick, yo, that card is too meta. Anyways, uh, is destroyed by opponent's uh, attack or card effect and sent to your graveyard. You can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. And if you do, special summon that monster in the same battle position it was when it was destroyed. And you can trigger this card, and uh, you can normal summon one Red Eyes monster except for a Red Eyes Bee Chick uh, during your main phase's turn, in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only get this effect once per turn. Okay, so what I really like this for is when you go ahead and make a Red Eyes, and let's say they bring out something to get rid of it, and you happen to have like this card in your hand. So um, it lets you bring back your Red Eyes, plus it lets you get Red Eyes Treasure Dragon, which I kind of like because I'm like, well, maybe I can use it to bring out, you know, Rank Forest because these cards are pretty uh, important in the game. Sometimes just bouncing back the right card can help. Uh, you can also Red Eyes Tracer for Red Eyes Tracer. So what I'm saying, uh, what I mean by that is, if I summon Red Eyes Tracer, I go ahead and crash into a monster. I can go ahead and special summon another Red Eyes Tracer from my hand, and then special summon this card. It is technically using two cards, but I like this card because it actually lets you um, kind of have a rebuttal. Like let's say that uh, your opponent you know, attacks into your red eyes. Because sometimes in this deck, what I noticed was like, first turn you would go Black Sun Legend and you'd, you'd end up with a red eyes. Um, this card was kind of nice because what it allowed you to do was uh, if they got over this, you are able to have this monster on board and this monster on board. And the next turn, if you happen to have a uh, Black Stone, uh, you can go ahead and Black Stone and then you can go get uh, another red eyes and then you can go for rank sevens much easier because um, this card has really easy access to it. Like I said, uh, this allows you to go for uh, the Red Darkest Metal and bring these back. You'll have this card in the graveyard quite often, unless of course you're resetting it with this card anyways. Because if you guys remember, I was trying it with Armageddon Knight. I've tried so many different builds uh, of this deck, and I really do think the Ritual it has some potential here, um, but it is a little bit conditional, and um, you can lose to Brick Hands, especially when, you're, when you open up uh, kind of wonky with some of the normal monsters. At one point I was playing multiple Southern Skull, but Jar of Avarice definitely helps out this deck a ton because being able to reset the uh, Summon Skull back into the deck is actually the most important thing that Jar of Avarice does. I just wish there was like some something that made it so like you couldn't draw specifically uh, the Summon Skull because I swear every almost not every time a lot of times when I put the card back I always end up drawing the Summon Skull. I'm like, are you serious? That's the one. That's the only card I don't want to draw with Jar of Avarice. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for this deck, other ways to play the deck, I'd love to know because uh, I was testing out uh, with Armageddon Knights. All I was doing at one point because Reddish Darkness Metal Dragon is such a good card is I was actually uh, Armageddon Knight send this card to the graveyard running like Oasis's and also uh, Reddish Spirit because this card just brings out any Reddish monster. I just wanted to abuse this card because I think this is probably one of the most insane cards to come out. Like the whole uh, Giga Plant thing, that card's pretty good because it gets Lone Fire that lets you get out anything in your deck. But uh, this card gets you uh, anything from your hand or graveyard. And uh, obviously when you happen to go for this card over here, if I played multiple red eyes, like another one, uh, I did have, I would have to the option tactically to bust out uh, multiple of these, which at that point you used to win anyways. But uh, this card can get pretty nasty because once you make this card, you can bring out another red eyes. And then if you have red eyes, darkness metal, you can bring out another one. So there's kind of interesting interaction. I, I dropped the whole Gemini card. Like I said, I wanted to play this deck very aggressively. Just first turn red eyes, darkness metal, have this card or, you know, this card out. And then negate whatever my opponent does. And I just win the game next turn because I'm going to search out any red eyes card the next turn. It's pretty cool. I like... I like how the red eyes support is actually decent, like it's not absolutely a joke, and it does look like it might get viable depending on what other cards we get in the game. But um, as far as other cards, I wanted to mention, um, I really do like this card. At one point I was playing, um, is it Dragon? there's a card that brings this card out, I think it might just be, no, is it, was Polly? I don't know. Actually, hold on, I think it's, oh, I don't remember the card, but there's, a, there's one card that brings this out really easy. Is this just two? Um, okay, actually, I think it might be this one that you can bring out this card with. Anyways, I like this card against certain decks that just don't run back row because if you get this out against Light Swords, they can just lose. You just, you literally, uh, summon this, and, uh, this card can't be destroyed by battle except, uh, by battle with, uh, a normal monster. So, I guess Judgment Dragon can attack you for 300 every turn. It obviously, it also has that effect where, um, 
and it's unaffected by other monster effects. So JD can blow up the field as many times as it wants, and it's going to send four cards each turn to the graveyard, and that deck, if they've summoned JD, they've at least gone through four cards. Usually probably about 10, 15 cards before that card comes out. But uh, you can just deck the uh, deck out because um, this card, like I said, uh, they don't have an out to it because it's unaffected. So they can't mic yield, they can't banish it. Um, I just like this card for utility uh, against certain decks. They just don't know what to do against this card because it literally is unaffected by all the uh, monster effects. I mean, I think a lot of decks play like Regeki, Dark Hole, but um, some decks like Light Swarm where they're just like, oh, rely on JD for everything. Well, too bad because this card is unaffected by other monster effects, which is pretty cool. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have some fun playing with this deck. Let me know what other cards would work in this deck because at the moment, um, yeah, I basically, I think it was the new things that I added were in uh, the Red Ice in this build was uh, the, the Tracer Dragon, the Monjus, the Knight of Dark Dragon, the Dark Dragon Ritual. Um, as well. I think this is kind of new. I think these are more new, but anyways, we tested it out and I think it's got some potential. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Asian Eyes, signing out.